Hello assalamu alaikum in this video we will understand about the emphysema and bronchitis collectively we will understand in this video so let's begin to understand what is this this is a lung disease caused by smoking but other causes include air pollution and chemical fumes uh, uh, and a lot of other allergens so our 3 million people in the US states have emphysema because we are understanding are related to the uh, US article so that is why so let's understand first the causes is the 90% smoking the toxin and pollutants is the 10% and the basically the whenever the person will smoke will lead to bronchitis the bronchoconstriction will occur this will lead to here is a bronchiole will be constrict and uh, hard as well as thickness this is the alveoli this is the emphysema alveoli which that is rupture to decrease the surface area due to the alveoli the air sac will be damaged and in this way the basically the large air uh, pockets will lead to damage to lungs and parenchyma parenchymal cell and in this way the surface area will increase will lead to uh, sorry surface area will decrease will lead to less oxygen absorption in the blood circulatory system so the perfusion will be decreased the global in initiation initiative for chronic obstructive lung disease this is the gold for short is a uh, four stages the stage one is mild stage of emphysema so the hundred percent lungs can be operated but at least 80 percent can be uh, operated normally but the stage two is uh, moderate emphysema because the uh, less ruptures of the air sac and in this way the air sac will not uh, uh, too much a rupture and your lungs operate between 50 to 79 percent but anyhow the stage 3 is the severe emphysema lungs operate between 30 percent to 49 percent and in this is the stage 3 stage 4 is the severe emphysema operate the lungs less than 30 percent The bronchitis means the hardening and the thickness due to the mucus production will lead to less oxygen inhalation and in this way the inhalation of the lungs decrease so the uh, hypoxia the hypoxemia will occur when the and the mucus secretion and due to the uh, emphysema and surface area will decrease will lead to less perfusion of oxygen and in this way the hypoxemia will occur this hypoxemia so the oxygen is basically uh, decrease will lead to hypoxia in the tissue and the less production of ATP due to the anaerobiosis will lead to acidosis and apoptosis due to, due to the less uh, oxygen will lead to less ATP production the aerobically the bronchitis or emphysema will lead to inflammation uh, and lungs function will decrease Carbon dioxide will increase in the blood and the decreased oxygen will lead to hypoxia and the acidosis and ischemia will occur. The pulmonary blood pressure increase the hypertension and left atrium and ventricle will affect will lead to output decrease while the input will increase and the output uh, of the pulmonary circulation will be decreased and input will be uh, increased but in this the RAS uh, uh, RAS system will activate to hypertension and the anaphylactic shock. This is the whenever the smoking, this is the air sac I am drawing here. So, in this way, the bronchitis will occur, will lead to also due to the pollutants, smoke, and toxin, and endocyto, uh, will endocytosis in the uh, in the alveolar macrophage and the ciliary uh, uh, ciliary moves out extra mucus with debris to clear the alveolar sac will be decreased so in this way the macrophage will engulf this toxin 
and the gaseous exchange occur in the in this air sac but let's understand about the macrophage macrophage living as a colony in the uh, alveolar sac and the, uh, in the surfactants inside of the surfactants surfactant is very important for dilation and constriction of the air sac for complete respiration the cytokines will produce after the macrophage engulfing will lead to recruit also the monocyte and the neutrophil and will proliferate and neutrophil will engulf endocytose these pollutants and the CD8 adaptive immune response will lead to cytotoxicity in this way the epithelium the alveolar wall destruction due to the emphysema will occur by due to the CD8 cytotoxic T cell and also the CD4 but we will understand just overview this proteases will produce from neutrophil will lead to mucus uh, hypersecretion and in this way this will lead to bronchitis due to the mucus hypersecretion while the alveolar wall destruction is known as emphysema for short understanding. The sign and symptom is a progressively worse, worsening, worsening is the shortness of breathing, the, uh, the productive cough, the wheezing sound and the weight loss when you exhale the air and the barrel chest and the limited activity. The causes we will discuss now the cigarette smoking 90% of all cases and the second uh, hand smoke toxin chemicals disease abnormality or deficiency and alpha 1 antitrypsin uh, deficiency while the treatment is the risk uh, the, uh, the risk factor should be decreased due to the uh, with the treatment is very important for its a treatment is the risk factor decrease for example the medication bronchodilators for dilation of bronchioles uh, will lead to air move easily inhale steroid oxygen therapy and pulmonary rehab anyhow i hope you make sense about the overview of the emphysema and bronchitis the emphysema is the uh, uh, the rupture and damage of the ear sac and the alveoli will lead to decrease the surface area while the bronchitis is the bronchiole hardening as well as the bronchiole our secretion of the mucus will lead to impede the oxygen and carbon dioxide uh, exchange exchange the gases thanks for watching see you in the next video bye